In today's video, Sally the mule is going to be getting her hooves trimmed. So we're going to show you what that all entails and kind of talk about some of the differences between mule hooves and horse hooves. So I think she's, I don't remember, I don't remember when we trimmed her last, but I'm going to say she's probably eight to ten weeks right now. Now I prefer to trim all of my own horses, but I have Amy trim Sally the mule because mules have such totally different feet from horses. And I'm not comfortable at this point trimming her yet, but I will learn to do it myself. So Amy, what are some of the things that you think are really different from a horse as you're trimming, if you wanna just sure. talk about that? Um, well, mules are extremely concave compared to a lot of horses. The concavity here in the sole. Um, they have a more elongated foot than a horse. Horses' feet are pretty round. For a trim right now. She probably should have been done a few weeks ago, but life happens. Now, are mules heels typically a lot higher than a horse's? Um, not at, actually, they're not. Like her heels are, they're an inch high here, mm -hmm. and that's what horses are. Okay. Too. And then if I measure this distance here, it's two inches from the coronary band. No, sorry, inch and a half. Inch and a half. Typically we trim horses every four to eight weeks depending on the horse. Some of them get done earlier than that, some of them get done later than that. It just really depends on the horse and how their foot grows. The more frequently you do it, the easier it is, the less you have to take it off, the better it is for the equine. I can't say horse since we have Sally the mule here. But she's not a horse, the mule. Tough. And there's the difference between the one that's not trimmed. You can see how that toe is really long. There's a broken angle there. It's very important to get right down to ground level in frog pose <laughs> to make sure that you get the right angle on your hooves. So the angle of the hoof should be the same angle as the pastern here. And it is. Because her toe is so long, you have to come from here. So it comes at this angle, and then this is a little different. So I'm gonna get, I need to back this toe up and take a little bit off so that it'll be more about right in here. The toes are just overgrown. with mules is that or donkeys is that when they grow when their toe grows long the sole comes right up with it so this this depth right here is really deep right now it's too deep this is too deep compared to here we need to take this down about right in here 
this whole toe has to come off. And when the toes get long, it's like if we have flippers on, it really puts us back on our heels, so these heels are getting overused and kind of crushed. So I'm going by measurements to know how much to take off here. So her heels are at an inch at the tip of the frog. The depth here is three quarters of an inch. When she pulled her foot away, I didn't try to force it. I just went with her and waited for her to relax and then asked her to come back. And, and she didn't get in any kind of trouble, so therefore she stayed nice and calm and quiet. And this particular animal, that's really good for her because she has a tendency to get very nervous. So that was just right. You don't want them to feel trapped, so you just go with their movement and then once they relax you can ask them to come forward again or back I mean Is at an inch also, so I gotta take this down quite a bit. And I don't really want to touch the heels at all.
just going to level them. prefer to see this frog a little thicker like actually you know it's, it's pretty thin right now prefer to see it come up that high just check to make sure I got enough of that toe off Seems like mules are so much more sure-footed than horses. The shape of their foot is they're more elongated than round. Horses' hooves are more round. And they can climb up so much that horses couldn't do. And they're really, really steady on their feet. big ears. <laughs> <clears throat> You'd be amazed at how just a few shaves off can change the angle. Oh, yeah, it makes a total difference. Yeah. Okay, Sally's. Cool. Looks great, and you did such a nice job. <laughs> so good. It's beautiful. That's it for today's video. If you want to learn a little bit more about Sally, you can check out her playlist. I'll list that in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Get your little eyelashes. They're so cute. And my, what big ears you have.
Oh yeah, you ate dirt. <laughs>